I'm just gonna roll with it, bro. <laughs> You're not gonna believe where I'm at right now. Before I was even born, a guy called Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, they started building a company in Los Altos, oh, here in Silicon Valley. They briefly, like, right after they had a little bit of success, they moved their tiny little rinky-dink first office into a place called Cupertino in Silicon Valley. And that was in 1977. And to this day, the phone that you're watching me on right now, 50% chance, is was founded right here in this little town called Cupertino where I'm at right now. I'm actually staying down here, man. I, it's kind of kind of cool and I got a really an interesting story about it. So stay tuned. Town of Cupertino is somewhat legendary now. I mean, think about it. How has that little phone with the apple, the bite out of it, impacted your life? It impacted mine in a major way. And I'm actually staying with this company called Long Term Stay. These guys were cool enough to actually have me down here and kind of like show me around a little bit to what it's like because I'm not familiar with Cupertino. I know the weather is paradise. We're in the middle of May. It's actually May number two. And I think it's gotta be about 75 degrees out. Five o'clock PM. There's no wind. Maybe like the, the perfect breeze of, a, of about five miles an hour. There's a little bit of clouds in the sky. You can see it, but it's clear, crystal blue. It smells clean and fresh. It doesn't smell like trash. Some of San Francisco, my city, so I can bag on it all the times, you know? <laughs> so this company, Long Term Stay, it hosted me out here. I'm sure you guys have heard of Airbnb. I guess it's kind of like Airbnb, but, but it's more about like longer term. And so I'm, kind of just getting acquainted with it and I'm gonna see what it's like, you know? So I wanna go in and, and meet some of the people and, and kind of spook them out and surprise them. Basketball, music. So for those who have been watching me on, on YouTube for a while, they know that I'm really into intermittent fasting and health and fitness. And so part of my thing is like, I, I, I try to push breakfast out as far as I can and then focus on just trying to get to like lunch and dinner only or just dinner specifically. One of the guys in here, he says he's doing that but he says it wasn't by choice, and I want to find out more about his story. He's like, it's my first meal of the day. I'm being forced into it. I'm like, I hold that thought. Come, I'm coming right back with a surprise. Hello. Yes. You're the guy I was looking for. Tell me all about your story with intermittent fasting. Why are you only eating once a day? Tell me more. I mean, so, what, but you said this is going to be the first meal, right? What, who forced you into doing that? I, the reason I ask is because intermittent fasting, this type of eating, changed my life. I was always into fitness, but I wasn't fit. What the problem was is I couldn't get fit, and the reason was because I was eating all the time. And once I discovered that style of eating, it changed my life. The first time you've done it? Like this only, like once a day, one and a half times. So do you always eat at night? No, no. Sometimes morning. I eat more in the morning, but today I couldn't eat even in the morning. Was it because you're busy? Yeah, there was an issue. Yeah, everybody gets into issues. Yeah, I understand. Because when you have health, it's okay. You may not understand. But when you don't have health, that's when we I just as a word of encouragement, because I know are I dealing with a health with 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 with, with, a, with a disability and I can totally empathize with that. And I but I wanna give you as a word of encouragement that the body basically is has been designed to eat at night. You have more appetite at night or in the morning? I agree. Night, you have a bigger appetite, right? That nutritionist? You could say that. More, a little bit more. More. I'm an expert on the body, but not MD. I don't believe in MDs. So. I'm interested though because I, I want to just say because it's, it's encouraging to hear that because like I, I feel like you feel like you've done something wrong by eating that at that time, but it's not wrong. What, what is your name? I forgot. Oh, it's Gavin. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. Can you just... how, how did you find this place? Oh, Vic, the owner. Vic, how does Vic know me? He know because he knows me. I'm a marketer, and I do like I do health and fitness stuff and marketing, and I do video. I though I like Vic a lot. I'm really interested in your story about hearing why you 
only eat once a day. Tell me your name again. Okay, I got it. My best friend's growing up as a kid was Cal. I won't forget that. And he died. He died when we went in 2006. Anybody changed my life. The body though, what happens is when you eat that way and you push out breakfast, even if a person were to be sedentary and be in a disabled situation, if they were able to push out their breakfast far enough and lunch and compress the feeding window into a shorter time period, what happens is the insulin levels drop and the body gets forced into burning its own fat for energy. It actually creates a human growth hormone increase that is up to 2,000% in some men, wow. naturally. Naturally, in some men. Now, the evening is there. The, our bodies, we are night eaters as species, as, as men and women. And, and, I, and I always like to think about things in a, on a, like just a common sense thing. I'm not a scientist, I'm not an expert on math, I'm none of that. I'm a common sense guy. You know, from common sense, looking back at maybe like your parents, your relatives, your ancestors, wouldn't they go out and find food during the day and then come back and feast at night before we have all the luxuries of microwaves and refrigerators and everything? That's good. Obviously, you're right. Do you agree? It is though. But then why do doctors say eat more in the morning, less in the night? Because very, very simple reason. He asked, why do doctors, Cal asked, why do doctors say eat more in the morning, less at night? And I got a real simple answer for that one. <laughs> because dead doctors don't lie. Alive doctors do. Alive doctors have a reason and motive to lie. Got to re Sometimes we forget that medicine is a business just like any other business. It's in bottom line, they have shareholders and they got re they got numbers to hit just like everybody else. And the and the more you need them, the more money they make. Maybe they've been lied to. But the truth is our bodies our bodies are designed to eat at night. And I'll tell you, even I mean for me, I, I get out of control hunger at night. If I don't if I if I do it the other way, I will eat like twice to three times as much food. <laughs> I, I think it's funny. Are you YouTuber? I, yeah, I'm on YouTube. I'd make you videos on YouTube. Oh, exactly. Wow. Well, can, can you show me your other videos? Sure. Well, I mean, I could give you my videos later. I have video, or you could look at them anytime. But they're basically on, my name is just Gavin Mail. M-E-H-L. You could search me anytime. My, the brand is in my name. And the channel is all, it, it, I have a lot of videos that like talk about human growth hormone increase naturally. Everything I do is drug free and mostly plant based. I don't usually eat meat anymore. I incorporate this into like my whole way of life and being and, and other people as well. And that is about age. Your age is determined by your mental attitude, not by a number. I'm like, it's not fair to put a number which is not comparable to something else. It's not, it's really not. Unless we can compare attitude to attitude. It's so safe. It's like really safe. The parking is good. Little area to just shoot the breeze, man. Shoot the breeze. Jump up top. Look at that basketball hoop. So how do you like it here, Cal? It's okay. It's okay. I like it. It was nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. I don't know. Oh, I, you got a hands full? <laughs> Go get some rest, my friend. Thank you for sharing your story, Cal. I appreciate it, okay? Yes, yeah, but thing is, yeah. They... I'll keep it down and we'll make a bunch of noise if you got to rest. Yeah. That young man. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>